This is unit three of your grade seven English pupil book. The title is Pleasure. Okay. Let's learn. Okay. Before we move on, let's clarify what pleasure is. What is pleasure? Can you tell me? Yes. Pleasure means it's a feeling of satisfaction, feeling of enjoyment, happiness, right? Feeling really good. This is pleasure. Okay. When you go on a trip you like, you feel pleasure, right? Okay. Now, activity one is a dialogue between a mother, Sahan, father, and Saumya. Okay. Now, before reading this one, I will uh, go and uh, see the activity two because when I know what are the questions I have to answer, it's easier for me to read, right? Complete the following sentences using phrases from the dialogue. Sahan and his family are in, we will find out where they are. There are blank and blank leading the way. Father said that blank fewer whip crackers a few years ago than now. Whip crackers, huh? we are going to talk about a pair of error. Sahan did not see blank. A majestic tusker, tusker means, means a huge elephant with tusks, with, was carrying blank. Okay, this seems easy. We will read. Saumya, Sahan and their parents are in candy to see the candy perahara. Okay, we found the answer to the question number one. Where are they? They are in candy, right, to see candy perahara. Now this Dalada Perhara is one of the most famous Perhara. Actually, that's the most famous Perhara in Sri Lanka. The biggest Perhara, the most famous Perhara, right? So everyone, like people from all corners of uh, the world, not only the country, all corners of the world, they come to see here a Dalada Perhara, okay? Mother, Saumya, Sahan, look! The perahara is about to begin. Let's go to the front so that we can see better. The father says, look at the whip crackers and the fire, fireball acrobats leading the way. Okay, we found the answer to question number two. Well, who are the two people leading the way? Whip crackers and fireball acrobats. There are many of them now. There were fewer of them a few years ago. Now, this is another answer for another question. There are many of them now. There were fewer of them a few years ago. That means there are new people who are trained on this job. There were only a few people before. Now we have many. That is an improvement. Next, Sahan says, Father, don't you think that there will be more in, in the future? Mother says, you never know. Saumya says, look, there's a beautifully decorated baby elephant. Sahan, oh, I missed it. Right, this is another answer to a question. There was a question asking, what did Sahan miss? Right, Sahan missed the uh, baby elephant. Then father <laughs> says, don't worry, there will be more. And Sahan says, Saumya, there's a majestic tusker coming this way. What is it carrying on its back? What? See? Mother says, it's the sacred tooth relic of Lord Buddha. Okay. Now, we know the answers for these questions. Sahan and his family are in candy. Yes, there, there are whip crackers and fireball acrobats leading the way. Father said that there were fewer whip crackers a few years ago than now. Sahan did not see the decorated baby elephant. Right? Last one, 
a magic a majestic tusker was carrying the sacred tooth relic of lord buddha right that was easy that was easy because we read the questions first okay so as i always tell you when you uh, when you have any activity to be done with a passage or a role play or a poem or a song read the questions first then you know what they are asking okay so we can read with that focus moving on we are going to learn the tenses in english mainly children there are three tenses present tense that is the now tense what's happening now at the moment or what's happening every day as habits or general truths present past tense that talks about the time in the past what happened in the past what was happening in the past what was happening in the past when that thing happened right all these things are past tense it's already gone next tense is the future tense this tense talks about the time which has not come yet future what will happen in the future what will be happening in the future right so we will learn all these tenses there is there are these two belong to present tense now say e and these are when whenever you see uh, the helping verbs is and are then you know you are having a present a present tense sentence example there are many elephants in the candy parahara there is a beautifully decorated baby elephant hmm. this now tense was were is past tense these two auxiliary verbs are past tense verbs there was a majestic tusker carrying the sacred tooth relic now this one is talking about last year candy parahara what already happened it was in the past right uh, you used words to show singular there were more whip crackers in the candy parahara in the past there were that means plural right um th this happened in the candy parahara in the past right future you use will be to indicate future there will be more dancers that means in the future there will be more dancers in the candy parahara um right in the coming years there will be a cultural show at the cultural center this cultural show hasn't happened yet it will be in the future now let's see what are the negative forms of these ones is is not am am not are are not was was not were were not will will be will not be now what are the contractions of this is not isn't are not aren't was not wasn't were not weren't will not be won't be okay now we have to make sentences in activity 3 using the knowledge we uh, just gained here on the three tenses make sentences there was a carnival here last week you can't say there was two friends why we have to uh, filter singular predicates from here right we have to see what are singular nouns now see a carnival then you have to use was an art exhibition then you have to use was because it's one thing finally you have two friends with me here the word two friends this is plural so you have to use were now we will read there was a carnival here last week there was an art exhibition yesterday there were two friends with me now we have to use the negative uh, sentences still the same principle wasn't for singular weren't for plural 
let's first see the final one here how the sentence ends a pencil box now this talks about one thing so it's definitely wasn't any beautiful paintings yeah many passengers now these two talk about plural things so they will use word let's start there wasn't a pencil box or a dictionary in my bag there wasn't any beautiful paintings in the arts art exhibition there weren't many passengers on the bus i hope you understood this one now we are moving on to the future tense future tense children uh, the beauty of this is that for singular or plural you can use will be or won't be it doesn't matter if the predicate is singular or plural you can say <coughs> excuse me you can say there will be a book fair tomorrow or you can say there won't be a book fair tomorrow doesn't matter there will be a drama competition next week or there won't be a drama competition next week there will be more books in the library next year or there won't be more books in the library next year there will be six teams for the cricket tournament there won't be six teams for the cricket tournament there will be a lecture on modern technology there won't be a lecture on modern technology there will be more different items in the program or there won't be more different pro items in the program right you can make five six <coughs> excuse me you can actually construct 12 sentences out of this one now we are going to ask a few questions here in this activity it's a little bit tricky why you have present tense singular present tense plural uh, past tense singular and past tense plural now you have to think before using is or are or was over if the ending is singular or plural if the ending is past or present right all of that you need to consider let's read this side first a bank here yes there is no somebody is asking for a bank here so this is present tense he is asking now so it says a bank now we we understood this is present tense now see if it is singular plural when you say a bank one bank singular so you use is is there a bank here yes there is see you have a you have a clue in the answer is next one any questions uh-huh plural questions means a lot plural now let's see what tense regarding the lesson today ah now the teacher is asking right it's present tense someone is asking now most probably a teacher right so you have to say are there any questions regarding the lesson today next one 40 students no. singular or plural no. plural in the class yesterday yesterday is the day before today so it's in the past tense so we uh, sorted it out plural past so what is the plural past verb here yes it's were so you use were for that were there 40 students in the class yesterday next one a train to colombo now a train is singular hmm? a train is singular colombo now now means present tense right singular present tense now you know it is 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 there a train to colombo now okay a purse on the table yesterday 
a purse singular plural singular on the table yesterday now or past past so what is the verb used to uh, indicate past singular it's was 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 there a purse on the table yesterday hmm. next one any students students not one but more than one right so this is plural in the library now we're talking about past tense or the present now tense present tense are there any students in the library now yes there are okay now again i will recap you use is for singular present are for uh, plural present was for singular past were for past plural or so plural in the past okay please excuse me i feel a little unwell today right anyways moving on to activity 4 identify the differences between the old main street and the new main street in colombo now have you seen this main street main street is in peta have you been to peta before i hope yes okay now you have to write a description using the words or phrases given below what do you mean by a phrase children if you have two or more words but those two or three words or it can be even four words five words and those words do not make a complete uh, meaning it's those words do not have a meaning those are phrases right? it doesn't give a complete sense Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let's read again. I was teaching you about phrases. Yes. Now, phrases are a few words that do not uh, create a complete meaning, right? It may have like, um, now, for example, bullock cards, right? On the table or under the bed all these are phrases we can understand something but it's not a it doesn't make a complete sense this this phrase doesn't mean anything like in complete sense if it if certain if a few words make a complete sense those are called sentences right now you have a few phrases like that given below we need to describe the differences between the main street a few years ago and the main street now okay but not few years ago it was uh, yeah this picture is uh 100 100 years old picture right 1910 right this is a picture of uh the main street 100 years ago Okay, now let, before we go to uh, the pictures, we will read the phrases here. Bullock carts, carpeted roads, old building, World Trade Center, rails, three wheelers, new buildings, tram cars, old vehicles, vans, light posts, and cars. The main street, now they, are, they have given an example. The main street in Colombo looked very different a hundred years ago.
Let me hold it with them. Okay, let's move on. What are the keywords? Let's remember Bullock Cards, Carpeted Road, Old Building, World Trade Center. We will refer to these phrases. Okay, now children, I have given you these pictures uh, individually as well as together here. So we can compare and contrast. Okay. Actually, what we, we what we are expected to do here is uh, regarding picture A, we will write a few past tense sentences because this is something happened hundred years ago, right? And the situation of the main street now. So picture B will be described in present tense. Now we will clearly see past tense sentences here, present tense sentences here. Okay, right. Now. In picture A, you can see a tram. Tram is a train operated by cables, right? This is a tram. This one. And you can see there are bullock carts even, right? In picture A. And what else can you see? There's an old building here. Old building. Old vehicles right tram cars we will uh, start describing picture a a hundred years ago there were bullock carts in the main street there was also a tram running and i can see uh, sorry and there were old cars running in the main street 100 years ago. See, there were bullock carts, there was a tram, there, there were old vehicles, and there was an old building in the main street 100 years ago. So you use there was or there were to describe this picture. Now we are moving on to the uh, situation of the main street now. Now, what can you see? To describe this picture, you know, we have to use is or are. There is or there are. Because these are the things we can see now. Okay. Uh, there are vans and three-wheelers and cars running in the main street. Right? There is a carpeted road. What else? You, we can see the World Trade Center also in this uh, picture, right? You can't say there is the World Trade Center. You can see, uh, you can say, I can see the World Trade Center in the Main Street picture now, right? Uh, new buildings. Now we can talk about new buildings. There are so many new buildings in the main street now. Right. We missed one thing. The light posts. Here um, there were light posts in the main street 100 years ago. We don't have these anymore. Instead, we have uh, electric light bulbs, right? Yeah, now we have explained all these uh, things give mentioned in the box. Moving on to activity five, we need to read the story and fill in the blanks with was, were, or will be. <coughs> Excuse me. Was is used for singular past tense, were is used for plural past tense, and will be is used for 
singular and plural both in the future future tense right maryland once upon a time there was a country called maryland now we are going to talk about the past here see there was a country in this country there was a village or oh, were a village it's a singular a village singular so it was uh, we will write the answers wait we will write the answers i will show you so we we all can write together okay i hope you can see this one now once upon a time there was a country called maryland in this country there there was a village called cheerville there blank cheery people people a lot of people so plural and past you know it's were there were cheery people in that village they always smiled at each other and led a joyous life they enjoyed music a lot whenever they blank free they for a uh, plural and past tense what is the plural past tense verb were whenever they were free and feeling happy they sang songs to cheer up the village next one there will be no wars there will be no foes now this one this this paragraph is starting to talk about the future so here there will be many moments of happiness and there will be more friends there will be more dreams there will be many moments of happiness right i hope you have completed this with me yes now we are moving on to activity 6 read the clues and construct the story start like this once there was a lion and a deer in a jungle etc now the story uh, title is friendship is a strong weapon a lion and a deer in the jungle hot weather lion a pool to drink water we know what happened lion went to a pool to drink water both want to drink first attack each other hurt each other tired hear scream of vultures vultures are carnivore birds right they are they, they are big and they are dangerous i will show you a picture of a vulture vultures wait to eat them then become friends drink water together friendship saved their lives okay now we can start now we uh, we have an idea what uh, what happened in the story okay there was a lion once upon a time there was a lion and a deer in a jungle we show you a bunch of first
Okay, children. I hope you can see the vultures here. Vultures. See, they are really dangerous. They they can uh, kill. You know, almost any medium-sized animal. Okay, if they get together as a group, a flock. Oh, they can attack so many animals. Right. Uh, let's move on. Okay. Once there was a lion and a deer in a jungle, um, hot weather. How can we write that? One day, the weather was very hot and they both became very thirsty. Then the lion went to a pool to drink water and the deer was also there and both of them wanted to drink first and they started attacking each other and they hurt each other. Soon, both these animals became very tired. All of a sudden, they heard a scream of vultures. And the vultures gathered around these two and were flying around them, waiting to eat them. Then the lion and the deer had a conversation and they realized that the vultures would eat them if they didn't work as a team. So they became friends. Finally, they drank water together and their friendship saved their lives. Okay, that is how you can construct the story. You can actually use your own words to construct this, but I was just showing you an example. Okay, right. Activity seven. Okay. Your teacher will read out a passage about a picture of a playground. Listen to it and write the correct letters under the picture. Now, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you have A, B, C, D, E. And you have to write A, B, C, D under the pictures here. Okay, I will read out a passage about this picture. Okay. Zoom out so I can see clearly what. Okay. This is a picture of a playground. In uh, the spot A, there are three children flying kites. And next to the children who fly kites, there are a lot of children sitting on the ground looking at the sky. Some of them are resting, some of them are talking to each other. That is spot C. In the spot B, there are a few 
children playing volleyball. <laughs> that is B. In the middle of the playground, in place D, there are a lot of children practicing yoga. And in the spot E, they have kept water bottles for the people who want to drink water. Okay, I hope you labeled as and as and when I was reading. First, I was reading uh, about these children flying a kite in spot A, right? After that, spot C, that these people were sitting together, right? Then spot B, sorry, this one was C, sorry, yeah? this one C, B was the place where they were playing volleyball and in spot B, there were a few children playing, uh, sorry, practicing yoga and in spot E, maybe there's a canteen, they have a lot of water bottles. Okay. Right, moving on to activity eight. Read the poem and answer the questions. I will read the uh, questions first. What is the poem about? The sky, the moon, the toy balloon. What did the moon like? A toy balloon, a star, a string. Name the objects in the sky given in the poem. Find rhyming words for moon, night, fly and past. What is the name of the poet? Find the suitable words Find the suitable word to describe the following. Night, white, moon, stars, and the, the adjectives are runaway, windy, frosty, and silvery. Let's start. Flying by J.M. Westra. Okay, now we know the name of the poet. It's J.M. Westra. This is very easy. You can say the name of the poet is J.M. Westrup. I'm giving you short answers here. I saw the moon one windy night flying so fast all silvery white over the sky like a, sorry, like a toy balloon loose from its string a runaway moon the frosty stars went racing past, chasing her on ever so fast. Then everyone said, it's the clouds that fly and the stars and moon stand still in the sky. But I don't mind. I saw the moon sailing away like a toy balloon. Okay, what is the poem about? The sky, the moon, or the toy balloon? Yes, it's about the moon, right? Okay. It's about the moon. Next part. What did the moon look like? Like a toy balloon here? Yeah? Yes, like a toy balloon. Name the objects in the sky given in the poem. Let's find. The moon, then stars, yes, clouds. What else? 
Yes, that's all I think. The moon. Let's start typing. The moon, stars, and clouds. Okay. Find rhyming words. Now you can see these are the rhyming words. Night. I will underline the rhyming words. Night and white. Okay. Balloon and moon. Past and fast. Fly and sky. Moon and balloon. Now let's start writing. Moon, balloon. Night, white. Fly, sky. Past, fast. Okay, find the suitable word to describe the following. Night. Let's find the word night over here. Night. What night? Windy night. Okay. So windy night. Then white. Silvery white. Yeah. Silvery white. Moon. Runaway moon. Stars. Frosty stars. Here you can see frosty stars. Frosty stars. Okay, children. Now we have completed the part one of your uh, grade seven English book unit three. Okay. Please complete these uh, activities and I will see you again with the part two.